It's my feel good breakfast show. Colourful and vivid indeed, my man. Right now, it's time for some DIY with our builders, DIY expert Andrew Duncan. And we may making something that has been around since 1817. It's been invented by Sir um, David Brewster. We're talking about the kaleidoscope, and over the years, it has entertained both young and old. And here, you can make your own. Today's DIY, we're going to have some fun and we're actually going to build something for somebody else for a change. That's right, a kid's kaleidoscope for our kids. I'm sure you can uh, reminisce back to those times when you had something just like this. Let's get cracking. Some standard PVC pipe, we've got some end caps, some binder sheet covers, a drill, a tape measure, we've got a hacksaw and we've got some fun funky spray paint. The first thing we need to do is cut our pipe to 305 millimetres long. Move that out the way. Next, we're going to actually try and make a prism. So what we need to do, we need to have 39 millimetres for three columns, plus another overhang of around about six to ten millimetres is more than sufficient. Okay, now we're basically going to cut off that little 10 mil tab, and that's going to overlap, and we're going to stick that down to keep our prism shape firm and strong. We're going to drill our end cap. Now remember, one is for our sight hole, so we need it a little bit bigger than that. So we'll go for like a six millimetre hole. For safety, put the end cap in a clamp to weight it down and hold it steady while using the hole saw. We need to make a basically a clear screen that's going to fit on the inside of this and also slightly beforehand so it's going to hold our beads and all our little coloured patterns so they don't fall out. You basically need um, two clear pieces and one opaque piece which we're going to use the tracing paper for. And the reason why we're using this is it's going to filter the sun so when your child does actually hold up to the light, not going to damage his eyes. Line the inside lip with clear glue before placing a disc of acetate inside. Next, line the edge of the acetate disc with glue and place a disc of tracing paper on top to complete the end cap. So when you're sliding your prism in, as you get it down towards the end, just apply a little bit of sellotape. Then as you turn that around, you're going to put a little bit of glue on each corner. That'll hold the prism in place as well. And then here, you're going to try and get a bead of glue all the way around the perimeter of our circle. Glue a disc of acetate on top of the prism to create a little pocket for the beads. Place your end cap on top to contain the beads and glue it into place. Once assembled, clean the kaleidoscope with thinners. As usual, I'm making use of my scrap board. So we're going to go start off with some white primer. What I've already done is I've put a yellow final base coat on there and then we're going to mask this up and then we can put some different colours on here and have some fun. I'm happy with that, let's, uh, let's spray it up. Great, that's all covered. What I'm going to do is let that dry now and then I'm going to come back and peel off the masking tape and you'll see the creation come alive. Carefully remove your masking tape to reveal the kaleidoscope. Creating an engaging toy for your child is so simple with a little ingenuity and, of course, tools and materials from builders. For all the steps for this project, visit the Expresso website.